Picture it. 50 million years ago. These dinosaurs roaming North America, grazing on plants and all that other good stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rodney Ross, Mid-State Welding, and this is The Welder's Way. And in today's video, I'm excited to announce or show you a coolest project I've probably ever got to work on thus far. And this, my friends, is a Triceratops brow horn. It's about 32 inches long. It is about 50 million years, I believe, old. Um, and it was found here in South Dakota. So it's pretty exciting to get to be a part of this project, especially as a welder and getting to work on something and to be able to present this fossil in its natural state. And so anyways, I'm super excited. I hope you guys will tag along. And so if this is a video that you're interested in and would like to see more stuff like this and other cool videos, click subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time we post a new video. So, what I'm gonna be doing today is building a stand for a very special project. And it's gonna be elevated about yay big. And we're gonna start with the first base and go from there. what she should look like. <clears throat> it should be pretty close. May have to fine tune it just a little bit, but we'll tack it on there. We'll set the bone on there, see what it looks like.
Um, gonna see, and I'm gonna be very careful because this would probably be better with two hands because I would hate for anything to happen to that in the process of trying to try it out in the stand the way it goes because I'll have to set it here, slide the loop over the horn and then put the nut on the bottom. But needless to say, that's where we're at. So we're about to give it a try. So crush your fingers because if this bad boy breaks, it's not gonna be good. Won't be good. All right, so after talking with the customer, we've decided we're going to make this base plate a little smaller and trim this piece down just a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna take the stand, I'm gonna set it up here and we're gonna assemble and put the horn on there. So hopefully everything goes smooth, so cross your fingers. Um, get it in there, get it all set and then let the customer know that it's done and hopefully he loves it. In situations like this, we'd like to prepare ourselves with a little bit of So, and if any of y'all are wondering, I wear bare knuckle gloves. They're great gloves. Um, and if you want to try some out, go to bareknuckleglovescom and you can do the, you can get 25% off if you type in Rodney's gloves. And just to give you guys an idea of what this thing looked like, cause I'm assuming from what I've seen that this side here would have been the top of the brow or of the horn. So you imagine if this thing set like that. I mean, golly, I mean, it's, it's huge. But that's why really doing this project here, I have come to really appreciate uh, dinosaur bones in a different perspective. Because as a kid, you go to school and you don't think anything about it. You know, oh, that's cool. But then you really start thinking about everything and you're like, man, to picture these things in real life. So here we go. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope each and every one of you got something out of this video uh, while I made this beautiful stand for this colossal fossil. And I hope everyone maybe got a little different appreciation for dinosaur bones. Um, I know I did, and it was pretty exciting. I'm just glad I got to be a part of this project, especially for a dinosaur bone that was found right here in the state of South Dakota. Um, so that is pretty neat, but if, you like this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you hadn't already and until next time this is the welder's way and this is rodney ross signing out